She said parents changing diapers of their kids in the restaurant and in one case putting the soiled diaper on the table for all the patrons to smell. It's Channel Mom with Jenny Dean Schmidt. We're here for you. Let me give you some things uh, um, that she cited in her article. She said parents changing diapers of their kids in the restaurant and in one case putting the soiled diaper on the table for all the patrons to smell. Um, Letting a child pee, pull down his pants and go potty in the restaurant um, on the floor and then asking one of the employees to please clean that up. I don't even know if she said please. Um, She had cited an example of a mom um, letting a child scooter down the sidewalk and run into her elderly mother and not say sorry and have the mom basically chastise the elderly woman for not getting out of her kid's way. And I think, oh, oh my gosh, have we really come to this place where parents think their kids are so important that everybody else, um, you know, be darned. Do you think that that is something that has trickled down and and is also occurring in our country? Oh, there's no doubt that it's occurring in our country. I I see it. Uh, I see it all the time. I, I could probably list off a hundred examples off the top of my head, which I won't. Fortunately, I have never been in a position where I've seen parents changing diapers on tables at restaurants. So I don't know if that's unique to uh, the area that she lives in or if I'm just blessed that I haven't come across it. But I have come across a lot of instances where it's very clear that for one reason or another, mothers feel that everyone should adore their little darling as much as they do and that we should all step aside and let a child be um, impatient, rude, whatever it is, because after all, they're just a child and get over it. Um, Kind of that attitude uh, comes across. But what are we doing to our kids when we do that? Well, you're absolutely handicapping them. It, ironically, if, if you are a, a church-going person, a person who studies the Bible at all, you know that life is very ironic if, if you do it God's way. It, yeah. If you want to be first, he says you will be last. Right. If you want to be greatest, you will be least. So if you want your children to, to forge ahead, if you want them to be liked, if you want them to be successful, the worst thing that you can do is to push to have them be all those things. The best thing you can do is to teach them to be a servant, to teach themselves to put themselves second or third, or to let others go first, or to hold the door rather than jutting around somebody and getting in first. The the minute you have a child who has nice manners, they have just soared to the front of the line in every capacity, and they're a standout. 